This weekend it's the turn of the French Grand Prix to take centre stage. Uh, we're at the halfway point in the season, 11 to go, 11 gone. So we've got a pretty good picture of the form guide. And it's back to being very close between Red Bull and Ferrari. Ferrari have closed that straight line performance gap, which was giving Red Bull quite an advantage, quite a, a significant tool on the right kind of tracks. So it's hard to say really who's got the upper hand at the minute. The track in France has only been used for three modern Grand Prix anyway. Um, it's not one I'm particularly fond of. It's good for overtaking, it's a test track so it tends to find out poor cars, it rewards the better cars. Um, I'm not going in for very many anti-post bets today because we're still going to have to wait and see how many drivers are going to opt to take a new power unit this weekend? It could be none, it could be two or three, but it's Sod's law that it's always the one you pick. Uh, and your anti post bets, it tends to get put back to the back of the grid. So, gonna hold fire this weekend, have most of our bets on Sunday. There are two in the preview attached. Slightly unusual markets for us to be playing in, but it's worth it. Hopefully, it'll be worth it anyway. So anyway, enjoy the preview and uh, we will be back for qualifying and the race on Sunday.